right, good evening. It's IHSA Football Family. Uh, how you guys doing? This is DuPage Run and Shoot, Episode 7, uh, 22 season. Here we go. Uh, my name is uh, Peter Lambert, a.k.a. Coach Big Pete, publisher of Deep Dish Football. Make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. Mr. Cotto, please give your information. Hello, everyone. Well, this is Patrick Cotto, the co-host of DuPage Run and, Shoot, uh, Run and Shoot Show. I'm also a sports reporter at NCTV17. And you wanna, if you wanna, you know, follow me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm all over the place. If you got any email questions, you know, email me at PeteCotto at NCTV17.org. All right, all right, all right. Week six scores. Here we go. Bennett sure. Academy 21, Niles Notre Dame 14. Wow. Holy shit, Bennett, you that that win. Oh yes, my they did. god. Bennett's Bennett's, you know, I think Bennett's finally getting it together. And I don't know why they're playing another out of state opponents, which I will be the lucky dog on that game tomorrow. So, but no, that's a huge win for Bennett going out of state. Cause honestly, if they lost tomorrow, that fifth win they're eliminated. Oh boy, that would yeah. not be a good long bus ride home. But <laughs> Yeah. They got the much-needed win against Notre Dame. Holy cow. And I don't know if you watched the highlight, but can that PA not be any louder? Good yeah. Lord. <laughs> but a big, a big, beautiful win for Ben and the Academy. Dude. to use the runaway football. And again, Pierce Walsh finally got him by, involved yes. as well. I don't know why That's they're great not targeting him more. He's That's a great big to see. dude. Throw to him. That's great to see. All right. Providence Catholic 33. Montini is that zero? Correct zero? Yeah. Apparently a big fat zero. Uh, 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 Montini, yeah. what are you doing? What yeah. are you doing? No mercy <sighs> at all, shown by the Celtics. Yeah, I'll give them that. Yeah, I'm completely shocked. And again, like I said, Providence Catholic, uh, they're on the verge of they're on that cusp of warming, they're on fire right now. Um, they had a couple tough losses, especially one to Julie Catholic, but they go to they go against Montini, they give them the goose egg. Big win for Providence Catholic, but Montini, what the hell? You beat La Leo and the Providence Catholic. So, wow. Um, I think it was it Montini's uh, three and three, if I'm not mistaken, or I believe so. Oh boy, okay. that's 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 it. Yeah, three and three. So, I don't, that loss honestly hurts them. To be quite honest, that one yeah, hurts. It does. Yeah, it does. It does. Um, Batavia, <laughs> 35. We don't warn Vilself Goose Egg. Zero. Uh, no, no surprise, although Batavia needed that win. And uh, Jesus Christ. Um, Ryan Wetwell, 192 yards on the ground, four TDs. What's He's funny, no too, it was a scoreless It was a scoreless first quarter. Yeah. And then boom. Yeah, and Ryan Ryan Wilwell is going to be that big is going to be the big time goal guy for in November for Batavia, um, and a big shout out to a couple few of their uh, defensive ends, uh, RJ, uh, TJ, whatever. They've got a big good uh, defensive line too. But um, we in Warrenville South is they got to win to they got to win uh, coming up tomorrow. They yeah they got to win out. They have to win out now. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Big yeah, ones. A lot of these teams are in win and go. Our winner go home mode oh, now. St. Charles North, 27. Lake Park, 13. Lake Park, they're not going to make the playoffs. No doubt about that. But, but this is a, but this is a, well, they're already eliminated. Yeah. They're eliminated. They're wide, but this is a football team that's, you know, yeah. been really impressing us this year. I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed with what Kirk, Coach Kirk Patrick has done. Um, St. Charles North again. Their quarterback is lighting it up. Uh, Taylor Taylor, the wide receiver, Drew Stubble. Surges though. Drew Surges too. He's Three TDs on 173 yards. Yes, and um, uh, they got a, a linebacker defense slash defensive end Diamond Taylor, who he's having a hell of a season as well. So definitely a big shout out to them. Um, we didn't. Uh, we didn't North 21. Glenbar North 14. Hey, you got to give it to the Panthers. I know, but oh my God, Glenbar North! Now you're in must. Now you're in must win mode for Christ's yes. sake. We're go home now. Wheaton yes. North, although you know yeah. that's conference games for you. You know, close win for Wheaton North over Glenbar North, but yeah, uh, <laughs> they're in some trouble right now. And 
the big screw you to coach Big Pete, Naperville football, Naperville, that whole community of football. You guys can burn in hell for what you guys do to me. You guys put me through so much carnage and so much pain. <laughs> Naperville Central 10. Oh, you forgot about DeKalb and uh, Wobonzi. Oh, DeKalb, Wobonzi, DeKalb, 49, Wobonzi, 13. Even, you know, Ethan McCarver, I mean, don't have a day, man. I mean, that, that's awesome. And, and DeKalb, they're going to – I'm going to talk about uh, the, for the games this weekend. They got a good – they have a good shot tomorrow. They've got a good shot. They do. Now, the game where we shot you in the foot. <laughs> Naperville Central 10, Naperville North 7. Overtime, what the hell, Cotto? Well, let's just say no offense wanted to score. Naperville Central ate almost eight minutes off their opening drive and scored. North's offense didn't score. Their touchdown was a pick six by Jackson Bauer on a screen. And if I had a dollar for every time our play-by-play guy said, bad snap, bad snap, bad snap, I'd probably have a nice condo and probably be able to, you know, yeah, a nice condo. Yeah, no, Norv's center was struggling last Friday. Tons of bad snaps. Penalties killed the Huskies. A lot of things went against North last Friday, and it was an ugly, 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 ugly. I've never seen an ugly football game like that before. I hate you all, Naperville schools. I honestly hate all of you, Naperville schools. You guys <laughs> like you guys continuously like to fuck, fuck with me, honestly. We're making yeah. you eat shit. Yeah, geez, like I, and I swear if they if they if Naperville Central lays a goose egg to the Cal, I'm gonna go crazy. I'll go crazy. I'll go. I, I, I like lays like Central holds. The Cal yeah. To the goose yeah. I mean that Central defense is pretty good. Yes, it is. Um, Nico Valley. Uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, no. Uh, good, 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 good win for the Red Hawks. They needed that bad. Yes, they did. They that did. Was a huge win. They needed that. They really did. I and. <sighs> Naperville North, they uh, offense was non-existent in this yeah. game. Let's be fair. But and, you know, this I think I think for for Naperville North, I I wouldn't say this was a loss they needed, but it was definitely one they like to put behind them. Yeah. Not only because they lost their crosstown rivals, but that was probably the worst offensive performance you could, you know, draw up for North. Yeah. They were terrible. Too Mental many mistakes. Was, Mental mistakes. Turnovers, penalties, yes. bad snaps, awful. Yeah. I'm sure Drendel was giving an earful of that center. Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah. center he... better have been working on his snaps. Yep. Otherwise, Mattia. Yeah. Mattia might give him some trouble. We yep. saw how last year went. Lyle, 36. Hersher, 26. Not that much of a surprise. Lyle needed But she did win for Lyle, though. Yep. I see 42. We did an academy, 20. I thought this was going to be a much closer game. I absolutely got killed on it. Well, at least one of the good things about this is for Wheaton Academy, this was a good loss. I mean, yeah, they're going to say, what? Fuck you. Uh, yeah. No, some teams need that good. Some teams need that loss. Yeah. And hopefully they got that out of the way for when playoffs come and stuff. Plus, this one loss, like this is one loss, right? Go to the playoffs. Uh, yes. Eight, yes. Go to the this playoffs. Wheaton Academy's one. first loss. Yeah. Go to the playoffs eight and one with that one loss coming to IC. Uh, that yeah. should definitely be a really good seed. Definitely yeah. a good seed in the playoffs eight and one. IC. IC is a powerhouse for Christ's sake. Yeah, one it is. Championships. I'm not surprised about the score. Yes. Um, you know, Denzel Gibson, 260 yards rushing, three TDs. KJ Powers, three TDs on 142 receivers. Those boys are getting it done. And we got Riverside Brookfield, 55 West Monzero. Big game. Big game. Yeah. Woo, woo, wee, oh, big woo. game. St. Francis 42, Aurora Christian 12. Any surprise? Jesus. No. The fact that I love what St. Francis is doing. And again, Aurora it Christian. It was a good game, St. Francis. We haven't talked to you about you that much. Yeah. you. It, I think the big I – forget, I think everyone's looking at that week nine game when they play IC. That's the, that's the, that's the big dog game. Oh, yeah. No, I'm looking. That's going to be a fun one. That's good. Glen Barty's 28, Elgin 0. Well, this game was a lot closer than, than 28 nothing. Um, it was only seven up than Glenbard yeah. at the half. Then they put it away. El- Elgin actually David for to give him a big shout out, Elgin has played their butts off this season. And Elgin is looking I think they got one more upset in them left. Um, but yeah, big shot to Elgin. Glenbardi's rolling, and again, they got that big week matchup into uh not, not not this week, but next week. 
Um, Bartlett fifty two, Fenton twenty eight. Well, <laughs> well, we want you want to know what's funny about this game. It was tied at twenty one at one point. Yeah, and then a twenty eight nothing run by Bartlett did the trick. Yep. Or I'm sorry. Wait, wait, what game we talk? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is the wrong Bartlett game. Fenton. Bartlett, I'm sorry. Bartlett was down twenty one to fourteen at the half. Yeah, and then they put the game away in a thirty eight to seven run. Yeah, I mean a tale of two halves, I'd say. It's uh, the Fenton. They got that. They had that big win last. Uh, it was like two. It was a week. The week before that, and two weeks again, ago against West Chicago. West Chicago. So again, quite impressive for Bartlett. Congratulations on Bartlett on a big win. Fenton, you fought your asses off. Next one, big one. Self Elgin forty nine. Glenbard self twenty seven. Now this is the game I'm talking about. As we expected, the game was tied at twenty one at halftime, and then the storm just were on a twenty eight six run. Um. 441 y- rushing yards total for that um, South Elgin run team. That South, that South Elgin offensive line, they were the hogs tonight in the state of Illinois. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. Big shout to all of that line. Coach Dragon and all those guys. Has, um, has South Elgin gone as far as the second round, or is that the farthest they've gone in the playoffs? Uh, they had a, they had a nice little uh, run last year. If I'm not mistaken, I they only they won one playoff, playoff game, lost to Maris in the second round. Oh, I thought they, I thought they won the second one. That would have been nice against. Maris. I thought the Maris was the quarterfinal one. If I'm Maris not, was oh. the second round. Okay, all right. Maris beat Glenbrook South in the quarterfinals. Okay. Yeah. No. Well. Well. You know, with this South Belgian team, you know, can they get over that second round? Yes, can they actually right. get into the quarterfinals? I think they can because, again, like I said. That triple option offense is a pain in the ass. It is a fucking pain. Well, they just well they just beat power. They just they, they got that much to win against Glenbard South. So yeah, we'll see how things go from there. Now, of course, also depends on seeding as well. And and honestly, at this point, you got to think at, at this point of the season, you know, <laughs> some teams need to have their best showing because you know yeah. with, with with seedings and stuff like this is a for teams that are guaranteed a playoff spot. Well, let's say let's say some teams are you know six and zero, oh, four and yeah. two. Uh, five and one. You need to keep, you know, keep that ball rolling. Yeah, no, you're right. You, you're you're completely season. right. All right, <laughs> West Chicago, forty six, Streamwood twenty four. West Chicago gets the first win in the Chavez era. Way to go, Wildcats! Big win for you guys. I don't care if they finish season one and eight. They got to win. Which is they got to win, and that, that's what matters. Great improvement for this team. Congratulations to Coach Chavez. Congratulations to the whole uh, West Chicago team. Big one for them. Well-deserved. Congratulations to the guys. Um, Willowbrook, 42. Addison Trail, 6. Willowbrook needed this win. Puts him at 3-3. Three and three. You know, a little scary after the first, but uh, the damage was done afterwards. Downers Grove, self, 26. Hinsdale, self, 6. DGS is doing it again this year. Well, DGS is three and three right now. Yeah. Last year, DGS started off. Last year, DGS started off zero and four. So they had some work to do last year, but this year they are, you know, slightly improving and stuff. And honestly, sh- shit, look at the schedule. They could honestly, you know, yes. win out six, yes, six and three. You know that that be, yes. be something. That'd be a good improvement. Yep. Your Mustangs had Mustangs had full control in this game. Yep. Oh yeah. York, uh, York 17, Glenbard West 13. Game is ended after a Corey Ty interception to Glenbard. Uh, to, uh, uh, Glenbard West's Corey Ty interception. Uh, did you forget about Downers Grove North? Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, Downers Grove North 23, Hinsdale Central 3, Brain Fart. I apologize. Big win for DGN. Their offensive that line ends a four, That ends a 14 game drought. Yes. A 14 game drought. Jeez, yes. Hinsdale Central, though. What the hell? Yeah. I, I, agree. I, I no offense, Ryan, but I don't think this two QB system's working. I'm sorry. And that is Patrick Cotto. If you see him, batteries. Um, <laughs> okay. I mean, God, because this is what's killing Hinsdale Central. Like, I, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I look, I, I, I like the, I like the move, but sometimes it might not work. Yeah. Um, York 17, Glenbar West 13. Glenbar West, uh, Corey Ty, frozen interception to end the game. They blocked the punt before that. Good game. Unbelievable game by both teams. And, again, 
No one wants to see Glenbar West pissed off after one loss. Well, nobody wants to see York either. Nobody yeah. wants to see Glenbar West in York. Yeah. <laughs> so big shout out to Coach uh, Hel- uh big shout out to um Coach Fitzgerald in York. Um and again, Mad Vez, unbelievable. And um Kelly Watson too. Um deep this football game of the week last the uh, week. St. Rita 33, Nazareth 10. Uh, really, um, yeah, that the wrong too much. <laughs> they got too fancy, St. Rita. It could have been a, a, a lot worse score if they would have just ran the ball a little bit more, but they win a big 33 to 10. Right. Uh, uh there's 124 yards of D for DJ Stewart, two teddies. Yeah. He, he was unbelievable. Oh, this was a weird one. We cussed him 50, Wilmington 5. Talk about a battle of the undefeated. Shit. Two undefeated teams, and that's what we get? A running clock, too. Oh, oh yeah, 50 to 5. Yeah, that's definitely a running. That's very rare. You know, two yeah. undefeated teams that love their offense. Yes. Yet it's three cuffs are running it up. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, and Jacob McPherson and th- that group, unbelievable. Wilmington, th- I think with the uh, Reed Custer snapped a 20, if I'm not mistaken, a 22 or 24 game streak, regular conference streak. That's good. That's unbelievable. Big shout out to Reed Custer. Maine self, 23. Glenbrook self, 16, if I'm not mistaken. 16. <laughs> that is correct. Holy cow. Michael DeLumo to the rescue with the game winning TD. Just the type of game we expect between those two teams. And oh, um, again, Maine South, that was a much needed win, and they hand Glenbrook South the first uh, loss of the season. Richmond Burden, 31, Morris, 7. The Rockets' offensive line was eating, sir. Um, Yeah, and that helped out Mr. Uh, Steve Siegel. Yes. 178 yards and two TDs. He's having a hell of a season, by the way. That helped Mr. Siegel. So I'm sure Mr. Siegel was, was probably buying his offensive line some state dinners. Yep. I, I want to say Steven Seagal. I keep saying want to say Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal. Um, Seagal. I mean, if he could just maybe email us and say, <laughs> say this is how you say my name, and then I'll throw yep. batteries. Yep. <laughs> Bowling book Bowling Brook forty three. Homer Floss more thirty six. Bowling Brook gets the much well not much but big win. Um, and again, this team, the future is bright. Yeah. Well, this is the game week. Well, this is what we expected between both teams. You know, um, you know, Raiders were up, you know, 29 22 at the half. You know, this is the game we expected with offense. We expected it. I'm yep. not surprised by the score. Lino Winslow, 34, Marion Central Catholic, seven. All right, Lino Winslow. You want to play some of the big dogs from here? Bring yes. it on. Play fucking Ben Academy. Play Naples Central. Play the big dogs, <laughs> the big dogs no, from here, man. No. What no, they killed don't. Marion Central Catholic? Yeah. I got to say. Come on. We'll, uh, we'll, come on. 1A. And, and for 1A, again, between them, Chicago the that, Academy, man? it's going to be up in the air. Uh, Shelbyville, that's another team to look at. But 1A, I, I, I just don't see Lena Winslow. Uh, oh, losing. 1A school destroys Marion Central Catholic. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good lord. Yep. All right. Week seven games of the week in DuPage County. Montini versus Maris. A battle of we want to get the hell out of our football pads and want to get into wrestling and basketball of both teams. <laughs> uh yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Maris, yeah. Well, uh, both I mean both wrestling teams are pretty good and stuff. Yes, they uh, are. They are. Yeah, no, yeah. Wrestling, yeah, that's gonna be oh boy. This is a huge game for Montini, but Maris. Oh, Maris. I don't know. Montini's in literally make or break situation. Not saying I will, say, must- I will say this just uh to intervene. Maris did fight their asses off last week against uh, I think it was Lyola Academy, if I'm not mistaken. They did fight, they did fight. But, but it's Loyola. It yeah. I My think team, Maris, gets the, Maris gets the bounce back win. Yeah. So, um, big uh, rivalry game. I, yeah, I Again, one-sided to me. We in North versus we in Warrenville South. Can we in Warrenville South get the upset? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. It's probably going to go to Wheaton North. Hmm. Okay. 
Next game, Naperville Central versus the Calb. Well, put this game on upset alert. I would have to do the same as well. Wait, who's the favorite? The Calb, right? Naperville Central. Oh, the Central's the favorite? Yes, yeah. That's a little surprising because, well, actually, no, it's no surprise that Central's the favorite, but the Calb, so, so the Calb is, you know, what? You're a horrible Naperville Central alumni. <laughs> You're a horrible. You're a horrible. Can you let me finish for fuck's sake? Can you let me finish? <laughs> Can you let me finish? <laughs> okay, go. If Naperville Central wants to beat the Calb, they got to go deep. They have to go deep. I don't know yeah. why they're not going deep. Because if you watch their game against North, you're literally seeing all the short plays. Yeah. The Calb's going to look at that. And they're going to know what's coming if you keep running that shit. Yeah. They get Lo- Central gets Logan Devick back, which will, that'll be huge. Yes, it will be. And then hopefully Tyler Dodd's okay. Otherwise, you got Caleb Brown in yeah. there, Nick Zabilet. Obviously, you notice Tyler Dodd went out with an injury. So I honestly won't be surprised if that game's low scoring, too. Can the they prov- offense, Okay, you, you go, go. Sorry. The Central offense just needs to get the ball rolling against the Cal. Okay. Because the Cal, sure, they're four and two, but. This is the Cowboys' first big test. Yeah, it's a good day for Central defense because let's yeah. be honest, the Cowboys hasn't played anybody good this year. No, no. Did they? Oh, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah. Um, everything you said is uh, correct. Then, uh, uh, yeah, if Central, I mean, if Central wins, I'll be happy. Where's the game being played at? By the way, it's at the Calb. It's at the Calb place. The Calb, their homecoming. So. But it's Naperville Central, you alumni. Oh, my God. You're a horrible alumni. <laughs> That's the total Naperville Central alumni. He's gone. Um, oh. <laughs> hey, I'll take Central. Okay. Good. Good. I'll take Central. I've got this hey, game. If, if it goes either way, I'm in. If it goes either way, I won't be surprised if it goes either way. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I'm upset about it. No, and that's a great point. You made it. That was honestly a great point, and I totally agree with you on that. You're definitely right. About because that. for a team like the Cal, if they want to get that big win, this is their big shot. Otherwise, for Central, you know, that'll be a much needed fifth win. Yep. Glenbar North versus Lake Park. Lake Park is fighting tough. They're they're literally the 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 Glenbar North of playing Glenbar North. What do you think about this game? What do you think? What do you think? Who's the favorite? Who? Well, who's going to win this game? Who do you think is going to win this you game? You want to talk about upset alert? You want to yeah. talk about upset alert? Yeah. How about we go with Lake Park? This aggressive team eliminates Glenbar North from the playoffs. This is going to be a tough game, and Glenbar North they can't overlook this team. They got they got to win this one. Overlook? They keep turning the ball over like you say. Yeah, hey, they were they were a little bit better last last week. Okay, but some of that's cost them some games. Yeah, it's very true. No, you're right. All right. <clears throat> Next big game, Wilmington versus Lyle. Wilmington comes to goes against Lyle pissed off and angry after getting 55 on them. And the team that takes pride in defense and they take on the Lyle Lions. Oh God! First of all, why the hell are they playing twice? I have no idea. I have no idea. Well, can Lyle get the uh, can Lyle get the upset? Well, the score of that game was only 25, no, 29 nothing. Mm-hmm. So, uh... in part, it we trust. I'm I'm gonna put I if if Lyle can somehow get this win, I'll be completely impressed. I'll buy you a bear carpet. This is going to be tough, though, because Wilmington plays pissed off. Rintz is pissed off. The, this is a team that takes pride in defense and running the ball. I just don't see it. I don't see it. What do you guys say? Um, You know, well, Wilmington, obviously, yeah, after giving up, you know, that many points last yeah. week to Reed Custer, yeah, they're, they're pissed off. Yep. They're pissed off. All right, next one. IC versus Riverside Brookfield. Can the Bulldogs – Get the upset. This is at Riverside Brookfield, if I'm not mistaken. Well, um, I don't know. I see might have something to say about that. This is going to be a tough game. This is, uh, this yeah, is, all games are tough now. Yeah, and uh, I see it's just on fire right now. They're just on fire. You, they're, they're unbelievable. 
I'm, I'm still shocked by the score against them in Wheaton Academy. This is – I. Well, I, I guess we the Academy wasn't ready for IC. Yeah, and that's that's very true. So, we'll see. I've I just don't know. And it's at Riverside Brookfield. I think that you, yeah, what well, it's up. I I have this up nearby. I think IC is going to win the game. Um, York versus Hinsdale Central. Can they get the shocker? Can Hinsdale Central get the shocker? Well, Hinsdale Central gets the shocker. That'll be neat because they're in a must win situation. Three and three. You know. You know what? I think Hinsdale Central can get the shocker. They're going to do exactly what they did in New York last year. Oh, wow. You hear that, Elmhurst? I don't, I, don't, I, don't want it, I don't want to eat crow again. You hear that, Elmhurst? You hear that? Mr. Cotto? Oh. No, I bet it against Hinsdale Central <laughs> last year. And this is actually I, – I like this game, the next game. This is one of the most important games in DuPage County. Um, just because of teams being one loss, they both lost to York. DGN takes in Glenburg West. Your thoughts, Mr. Cole? Well, I'll tell you this. Um, Glenburg West is going to play pissed off. Mm -hmm. I think they could win it. <laughs> it's going to be close, though. I I think – I honestly see this as an epic battle, and I see this uh, – Combined points totals, nothing going over 30 points. Uh yeah, I totally agree. I just it's gonna that's gonna be an epic battle. All right, we get to the IGC games of the week because guess what? DuPage pretty much sucks with some of the games. <laughs> They're just blowouts. Um Batavia versus Geneva, the one hundredth and fourth meeting of the Batavia Bulldogs versus the Geneva Vikings. I'm what say Batavia. you? What? I'm going to go Batavia this one. Ooh. Um, I think this is going to be a tough game, but I I never, ever bet against Mr. Pyron. Yes, Geneva. I said that. You can throw back. Yes. <laughs> I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be a really good game, but uh, yeah, I, I tend to feel that way towards, toward about that. Manuka versus Plainfield North. Plainfield North undefeated. Manuka's only got one loss. Where's the game at, though? Oh, that's good. That's actually a good question. I do not know, sir. Well, no matter what, Plainfield North is effing good. Plainfield North is good. You know they're gonna they're gonna run that ball with John St. Clair and you know unload Demir Ishiru. They've done a really good job unloading those guys all year. Um, at the, the game end, is the at Ma Manuka. The game is oh. at Manuka. <laughs> I don't know. I think Plainfield North still gets it. I, I'm going to tell you right now, Dooley, the quarterback of Manuka, he's having a hell of a season. That offensive line is just unbelievable for Manuka. This is a tough game. And, again, the big thing will be on Plainfield North's defense. And, again, can they close the gaps off of Manuka's offensive line? Nigel Green needs a big game tomorrow. This is a trench – this is a trench fight, a trench war, and I think the 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 big thing will be on the Marisher and uh, Mister Dooley of uh, Manuka. So definitely keep an eye. And and like I said, two quarterbacks, underrated quarterbacks, Asher and Dooley. Ashiru or the Ashiru, right? Ashiru, Ashiru. Do you know I got a mush mouth? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Cookie Monster. I'm not. Rah, 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 rah. Glenwood versus Sacred Heart Griffin. What do you got, my man? Man, we got teams that love offense. I'll tell you that. Glenwood loves to run the ball. They got a, one, a thousand total yards. Sacred Heart Griffin loves to pass. Fifteen hundred and sixteen yards combined in the air. Ooh, you know what? Glenwood. And if you want to, you can throw batteries at Mister Cotto. <clears throat> What, what, what's it? What, what's, oh, 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 yeah. Sacred Heart Griffin wins. I got through Sacred Heart Griffin. Jack Newsom, he's a hell of a quarterback for Glenwood. Okay. Kyle Lott's absolutely killing it. Sacred Heart Griffin's going to get the win. Um, Loyola versus Providence Catholic. Oh, uh, no. Two teams coming off two big wins. Um, Loyola keeps rolling. 
I think again, um, I think you're, I think you're right. I think Lyle is going to win that one. Simeon versus Kenwood, a big game in Chicago. Simeon undefeated Kenwood. They got two losses now. Can they take it to Simeon? What do you think? Well, they got to stop this you know, Simeon offense. Yes, I think it's going to be go on. Simeon six and zero on the year. I yeah, think Wolverines keep rolling. Yep. Julia Catholic versus Brother Rice. This is an offensive shootout last year. It's going to be another offensive shootout, and JCA, I think they steal it. Ooh, I like that. Um, again, Brother Rice to me, the big thing will be uh, how their def- uh, defense reacts with uh, Julia Catholic's offense. Richards versus Lamont. Big Southern Suburbs uh, showdown. Lamont stays undefeated. Um, Lincoln Way East versus Homewood Flossmoor. Griffins, Griffins. I don't see anyone. Uh, Brandon Fisher is having a hell of a season, and so is that defense. I, I just like Way East is just too is just too big of a team. Belvedere North versus Hanahu. Up north, Hananega. Who? Hananega. Hananega. Sorry, Hananega. Hananega. Belvedere North versus Hananega. <laughs> Who you got? I'm gonna go Hananega this one. I, I think Belvedere North continues their success. Um, and again, that it, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy for it. Belvedere North is having just a miraculous season. Big shout out to them. All right, we get to questions. Greg Pervain of West Chicago. What teams are contenders and what teams are pretenders in DuPage County? Contenders and pretenders in DuPage County. I'll let you go first on this one. I think, again, contenders, I see St. Francis, yada, yada, yada. I think we saw a pretender in Wheaton Academy from the result of last week. I was a little bit disappointed about what happened with that team. Um, DGN, York, Glenbard West, I think are serious teams. Um, if Naperville North, If Naperville North gets a fire under their ass – they can be a contender. I was going to say after last week, they're in the they're definitely a pretender after last week. And your school, Naperville Central, if we look at it, they have a shot of being that like that we didn't North team was last year. So, well, if they can beat the Cal tomorrow, then they're in the then they're in the contender category. Yeah. Um, well, obviously, contender I would say is um, well, obviously you can't go wrong about York. Yes, Lombard West because they lost. Doesn't yep. mean they're not a contender. Yes. Um, Nico, as always. Yes. Uh, pretender. Wheaton Academy. Yeah. After that off after that tough loss last week to IC. What about Bennett? <sighs> they're still a pretender as of now. We'll see how things go these next three games. Yes. Uh, all right. If they can get um, this win, if they can get that win tomorrow, then it'll build back up. Yep. Um, well, actually, this question we got answered. Can DGS make it to the playoffs? Yes, they can. Um, I would have to agree. Yeah. Um, and, uh, from uh, Steve, uh, <clears throat> Steve out of uh, Naperville, what team has uh, has a huge – Has I'm sorry, has a bright future in the next three to four years? What program? What team? Yeah, program and f- for the next three to four years. New I'd say Shire. Lake Park all day. Yeah. Lake Park. Lake Park looks unbelievable. Um, their future is very bright. Um I, West I, Chicago, I, maybe? Yes, West Chicago. I'll give you another one. And it's gonna sound surprising. You're on the monitor, Naperville Central. I think there's I think there's gonna be a maturation process. I think they're gonna make it to the playoffs this year. But I think they got a good shot in the state title in a couple of years, Naperville Central. No doubt about that. They had a really strong class of 2025 and 2026 coming. Last year, the class of 2025 as freshmen went eight and one. And then six of those sophomores are on varsity this year. Yep. I would and, have to agree. Yeah, I think I think they're gonna I think they're gonna do good. Um I, I see always <laughs> St. Francis. They're unbelievable. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Bennett Academy? Made may them, maybe Wabonzi? 
Yes, they actually got they got a six three quarterback uh, from twenty for twenty twenty six. He looks like a star. He's a uh, class twenty twenty six. He could be good if they get some players around him. And um, if, like I said, Montini, if they get if they're able to recruit some more players to get them transferred to Montini, they might Bartlett. Good. Bartlett's definitely uh, in that oh, yeah. conversation. Bart- Bartlett, yes. Um, DGN, unbelievable. They have an unbelievable JV spread. York, J- Willowbrook. Willowbrook too. I like Willowbrook. I think Willowbrook's going to get some some more talented kids into that program as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'm sure so, there's still a few good. Um, I, I want to say this school, but I just don't know. Matia Valley? Yeah, if again the big thing is can you get participation levels, and it's that's a pain. Get the numbers up. Get the numbers up. Get the numbers up. Yep, that's and again you got to bring the attraction factor to the kids. You have to get the kids to want to think that playing. Get the them, of, John Parpa, Get them rolling. Get them. Yeah, rolling. and he will, and he will, and a big shout out to John Parpa. Glenbar North. How about Glenbar North? Glenbar North is always. Up. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right. Yeah, I would so, say I say Bennett though is definitely in that conversation. Yes. Yep. So, uh, DuPage Run and Shoot episode seven is in the books. My name is Coach Big Pete, aka Peter Lineberg of Deep Dish Football Publisher. My email is Coach Big Pete, FP Gmail account. Follow Coach Big Pete, Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Follow DuPage Run and Shoot on Twitter and Facebook. Mister Cotto, take it away. This is Patrick Cotto, the co-host of DuPage Run and Shoot. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Sports Reporter at NCTV17. Email me at NCTV17. I'm sorry, P. Cotto at NCTV17.org. And tomorrow night, you can catch me at Bennett and St. Joseph's in South Bend, Indiana. <laughs> I don't know why Bennett couldn't play an in-state opponent. There's so many good teams. Play someone from Springfield. Agreed. Gloria. 